Welcome back to another episode of the Corona Chronicles. We are in quarantine, lockdown, practicing self-isolation. Uh, it gets pretty boring just sitting in the house. So I figured why not spend my time out here in the garage. Um, my dine has been looking pretty crusty. Shadow Hunter, crusty. Um, yeah, it's been looking pretty crusty. My, my aluminum has like, I don't know if I want to call it staining or like oxidate, uh, oxidization. There we go. But um, I definitely need to do some work on this. I have some Flitz uh, metal polish that I'm going to use to try and clean up this Dyna. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about here. There we go. Yeah, you guys can see this, that uh, right there, it's all just like discolored and it looks like someone, like the previous owner had sprayed like a cleaner on it and it kind of just like baked on or something like that. But I'm pretty tired of my bike looking crusty and it's pretty dirty as well. So I'm probably gonna do a little clean into it. But my main priority right now is to make those cylinder heads look polished and shiny. And then maybe if I'm feeling a little ballsy, I'll try and tackle the wheels today. Um, I got like two more weeks in the house, so I got a lot of time. So I guess I'm in no real rush to get this stuff done, but it's something that's been in the back of my mind and something that I've been thinking about doing for a while. And I guess there's no better time than now. So I'm gonna go grab my foot polish, my Dremel, and my buffer bits. And uh, this next clip should be me just polishing some cylinder heads. Okay, so far this is turning out awesome. This Flitz polish is working just tremendously and it's really not taking that long and it got me really pumped to actually like do as much as I can on this bike right now. We'll see how long that lasts though, but look at the difference here. Crazy. And like this is just a couple minutes. You can see the huge difference in this and it's close to a mirror shine, like I still have some more work to do. You can just see a huge difference between this side and this side. So I'm gonna set you guys back up on the tripod and uh, get to work.
I have polished 95% of this bike. I went around and just decided I was going to go fully in and do everything and make it look the best I could possibly make it look. Um, so I have done the headlight housing, the triple trees, the bars, the, uh, the cluster, the heat shield, shocks, uh, just everything so, um, along with um, cylinder heads. And in my opinion, everything came out pretty good. These were very dull and like very, I don't know if it was just like heat discoloration or like a cleaner that was left on there too long. But those were very dull. No, that's shining like crazy. Cylinder heads, got them as best as I possibly could. Intake cover. I even got the pedals in there. The pipes came out pretty sick in my opinion. I even went this far as shining that damn kickstand. I am extremely happy how this came out. I mean literally mirror shine. Can't be happier. Um, the only thing I have left as of right now would be the wheels and I'm kind of just debating if I want to dig into it now or take a break come back later or just dig into it tomorrow so I have a week no two weeks to do all this stuff we're back day two of polishing I decided that I just wanted to call the night yesterday and go chill out. I was pretty tired of polishing. I'd been doing it for about five hours this day. So, uh, I have the wheels left to do today and I have the push rod covers left to do. But I did some research last night and I found out that the polishing uh, compound that I'm using is uh, non abrasive, non toxic, and safe to use on paints. So, I decided why not do the rest of the bike? do everything, make it look as shiny as possible, and you know, kind of bring this bike back to life, because I, I didn't really touch it after I bought it, and it was pretty crusty, so it needs a good revive, and it, uh, it definitely needed this polishing that I did yesterday, and I'm really excited to see how these wheels are gonna turn out. I feel like these are gonna come out pretty sick, because they're pretty, um, dirty right now so I'm excited to see how these polish up along with how the paint does I think the paints really gonna pop and have a nice gloss finish to it and there's a couple like scuff marks on this rear fender and I'm hoping that'll kind of smooth those out and see if it'll almost like cover them and make it look like they're they were never there hopefully but if not it's not a huge deal to me I literally just buffed these wheels for roughly 30 seconds and it's a complete night and day on these wheels so far I'm actually like really excited to get these wheels done now as uh, they were very crusty let me tell you very crusty so I'm very excited for these to be nice and polished I mean these wheels aren't in the absolute best condition but, I mean you can just see right there where I stopped right there where I stopped that's only 30 seconds, if that. Very happy with that. These wheels have came out way better than I thought they would. They're not like complete mirror finish which that's fine because that'd be a complete pain to keep up on but they're polished they're shiny they look good they look a lot better than they did so I'm gonna uh, keep working on these and see if I can't get the other side of this wheel and the back wheel done within the next hour or so so I'm trying not to be out here all day
I have got everything done besides everything that's black on this bike. So all the chrome or just straight aluminum has been polished. Uh, the front wheel came out better than the rear, but they were pretty crusty to begin with. And it's better than it was before, so I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, you guys can see the shine on that. And these didn't turn out as good. <clears throat> but it's still better than it was before and I'm happy with it. And I also just did a little test spot on my paint to see how my paint would react to this polish. And it ended up looking pretty good. Let's see, that's weird. There we go. It ended up polishing up pretty nice. So I am going to go ahead and just do the rest of the bike. Hopefully this will only take uh, roughly half an hour or so. I am tired of polishing. I've polished for about six to seven hours now. So I spent a lot of time sitting next to this bike, practically doing nothing besides holding a drill or a Dremel. So I'm ready to uh, go inside and do something else for sure. But uh, I'm gonna knock this bike out. I am very happy to say that I am finally done polishing this bike. It feels like I've been out here forever, but to me it was worth it. It came out looking very good and actually like went past my expectations on how this is going to turn out with polishing everything. So I'm going to do a quick walkthrough, polish these wheels. Alright, I got a little on the wheel, don't worry, on the tire, don't worry about that. Pretty polished. Cylinder heads, intake, push rod covers, pipes, the shocks, I mean every single piece and part of this bike. Sup buggins, see yourself. My triple trees were very oxidized and not shiny and pretty dull. And they cleaned up very nice. My bars cleaned up nicely too. So we're embracing the chrome right now. I am not a big fan of chrome, honestly. But I figured while I have chrome on my bike, it might as well look the best that it can. But definitely in the near future, things are gonna start changing colors on this bike. I have a couple concepts in my head of a couple things I want to make black, thinking about Cerakoting some things, burn bronze or even gold. I don't know, I got a bunch of ideas. I like to customize my shit. Um, I like to try and make it look as decent as possible, as best as possible. But uh, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you've stuck around to this part, I appreciate you personally. I know Hunter does as well. But uh, I'm going to close this video out so I can go chill out and uh, do a whole lot of nothing. See you.